All right, a perfectly inelastic collision is a collision where two objects stick together after they collide. Remember that an inelastic collision itself is one in which momentum is conserved, but kinetic energy is not. In a situation where it's perfectly inelastic, they also stick together. So momentum's conserved as it is in all collisions, but kinetic energy is not, and uh, for the system, and they, they uh, stick together. So here we have uh, cart A has a mass of four kilograms traveling with an initial speed of 12 meters per second to the right. Cart B has a mass of six kilograms and it's at rest. They're going to collide and stick together. And so after the collision, after the collision, they'll, come, they'll go together as a single unit stuck together, moving to the right. And what I want to figure out is what is the speed with which they travel together as a single 10 kilogram unit afterwards, four and six being 10 kilograms. So the initial momentum for the entire system, so this is before and after, initial momentum for the entire system is P naught, then afterwards is P. Well, what makes up the initial momentum? It's made up of these two. That's the initial momentum of A plus the initial momentum of B, and then that's going to equal the final combined momentum of both of them. But B is at rest, and so it has no momentum initially. So this is the mass of A times its initial velocity, and this is going to be the mass of the system, which is 10 kilograms in this case, like I said, times that velocity afterwards that I'm looking for. So A is 12 kilograms times, sorry, it isn't, my, my bad, 4 kilograms times 12 meters per second which is uh, 48, right? And then that's going to be times, well, 4 plus 6 is 10 V. And so V equals 48 divided by 10, which is 4.8 meters per second. So after the collision, they travel off together as a single unit at 4.8 meters per second. Use this process down to this point here um, for any situation where things stick together after the collision, all right?